Hi, Ethan. You wanted to talk. Hi, Mr. Nunez. I came in to talk about my memory. Sure, Ethan. Glad to have you in. Are you having trouble in school, remembering stuff? No, not so much. It's like things I'd rather forget. I see. Well, there are two kinds of memory, Ethan. Which kind are you trying to forget? The first is long-term memory. The ability to recall information that was stored in the past. Long-term memory is critical for spelling, recalling facts on tests, and comprehension. Weak long-term memory skills create symptoms like forgetting names and phone numbers, and doing poorly on unit tests. I see. What's the other type of memory? The second is short-term memory. Short-term or working memory. The ability to apprehend and hold information and immediate awareness while simultaneously performing a mental operation. Kids with short-term memory problems may need to look several times at something before copying, have problems following multi-step instructions, or need to have information repeated often. What kind of memory are you having trouble with? Well, I don't have a problem remembering. What kind of memory helps me forget? Not real sure how to answer that, Ethan. What would you like to forget? See, my parents don't own P90X workout videos, yet they go in their room and claim they are getting fit. I don't follow you, Ethan. Why would that matter to you or cause concern? They lock their door. They say they are doing workout videos. Oh, I see clearly they are concerned about being fit. Mr. Nunez, they don't have a DVD player in their bedroom. Well then, not to change the subject, but how old are you? I am 12. Hmm, you are starting to develop acute logic and reasoning skills. That is the ability to reason, form concepts, and solve problems using unfamiliar information or novel procedures. Deductive reasoning extends this problem-solving ability to draw conclusions and come up with solutions by analyzing the relationships between given conditions. Does that make any sense, Ethan? It's more than I hoped it would. And I just got out of a class that seems to explain what is going on. At your age, your auditory processing is well developed. Do you know what auditory processing means? Not really. Your auditory process is the ability to analyze, blend, and segment sounds. Auditory processing is a crucial underlying skill for reading and spelling success, and is the number one skill needed for learning to read. Okay, but I don't care about reading. I want to forget what I heard and I want the images in my head to stop or I'll jump out your office window. Do you have any hobbies, Ethan? What on God's green earth does hobbies have to do with this problem? Well, hobbies help us occupy ourselves when we encounter stressful situations. I'm listening. Go on. Do you have a hobby? I privately indulge in the illicit practice of yarn bombing. It's for those who can get enough crocheting and knitting projects off the ground. This hobby offers oodles of opportunities to decorate ugly utility poles, dress up mundane mailboxes create curious couture for parked police cars and add a little color to gravestones. All done while feloniously trespassing and wildly intoxicated. I see you might want to keep from sharing that information with too many people. It is who I am. The bottom line is you are at an age that your developed cognitive skills allow you to draw conclusions that sometimes make you uncomfortable. You should take up a hobby to enjoy when you want to be away from the house. Oh, I have my mom's cell. My father just sent her a text. What does it say? Crap. He said he wants to get a little P90X when he gets home. There are a couple naked statues at the city hall. What do you say we get decent clothes on those guys? Now you're talking. I will grab my knitting needles and vodka.